Hi everyone and welcome to the Clinical Conundrum Series. This is Hisham Ibrahim, I'm one of the Emergency Medicine Consultants in the United Kingdom. And today we're going to discuss one of the cases that I've seen a few months ago uh, that presented to ED with a very weird head lump. So, as always, the general rule that we're going to cover in this series is you will never see what you don't know. So you need to know things first to start seeing them. So here's the case that I've seen. Basically, this was a 69-year-old gentleman who presented to ED feeling unwell, a bit confused, with an acute onset of forehead swelling that's been there for about a week, but got really worse in the last 24 hours before presentation to ED. So the vital signs on arrival were, as you can see here, he was a little bit tachycardic, his blood pressure was a bit on the low side, his respiratory rate was on the high side and his saturation was 94% on air and his Glasgow coma score was 13 because he was a little bit confused and his eyes were closed. So this is kind of the presentation that this patient came with. And let's have a look at this. This is the patient who kindly agreed and consented that we can use his photo for teaching purposes. So if we look at this, then I guess we can all see that there is a really big lump in the forehead here that no one would miss. So this is what the patient looked like. Now you've got the full picture. You've seen what I've seen. You've heard the story. What do you think is going on here then? I think I can hear some of you saying it. I think I can hear some of you saying POTS puffy tumour. Let's talk about this. So this is a fairly rare condition. It is a non-neoplastic complication of frontal sinusitis and sometimes it can happen secondary to trauma. And basically it's osteomyelitis of the frontal bone with associated subprioster abscess. It's been first reported by Sir Percival Pott I hope I'm pronouncing this correct. Uh, and this was in 1768, so quite a while ago. And it's often polymicrobial. So you will find strep, staph, and some anaerobes there, which means that your antibiotic coverage should include gram positive and anaerobic cover. In terms of clinical presentation for those patients, they present with quite a broad spectrum of symptoms. They can come with headache, periorbital swelling, fever and some rhinorrhea, um, vomiting and sometimes signs of meningitis and encephalitis. And the intracranial extension can happen either via direct extension or via the venous uh, drainage of the face. So the complications include obviously meningitis, epidural, subdural abscess and venous sinus thrombosis. And if the inferior wall of the um, frontal sinus has been uh, involved, then the infection can spread to the orbit and this can cause orbital cellulitis and intraorbital abscess, which is fairly dangerous. So what to do when you're faced with a patient like this from the investigations and treatment point of view? CT slash MRI is, the, is, is required here. And this is the dangerous part about this condition. My worry is that you might miss this condition and um, and misdiagnose it as just a simple infected skin cyst. And this can be fatal because it's far more than just a simple um, infected cyst. And clearly surgical drainage is the standard of care in addition to a broader spectrum antibiotic coverage for at least four to six weeks. So this was about the condition. So let's go back to our patient and, um, and have a look at the results of the investigations. This was the CT of our patient and we can clearly see here um, the big swelling that's obvious in the CT and we can see that the frontal sinus is, is opaque full of fluid and actually the CT report showed pan sinus disease with a complicated mucosal left frontal sinus. So this was the CT of this patient. This patient has been transferred to um, another hospital to have his surgical treatment done uh, he's had a successful surgery and to the best of my knowledge, he did really well. So this was our case this time. So let's go quickly through the learning point. And our learning point today is when you have a patient 
um, that present to you with acute onset of swelling in the forehead, please consider the POTS puffy tumor in your differential and uh, consider getting a CT uh, PED. Um, that's all before assuming that it is just a skin abscess as this can be a fatal mistake. And this will be it for this time. So thanks a lot for your time uh, today and I'll try my best to talk to you again very soon. Stay safe and bye for now.